It's freezing. <laughs> but I'm gonna be Olaf. You're gonna be Olaf? Yes. Oh, he's cute, just like you. So we're not where I was expecting to be. We just had a little bit of a scare. What are you showing me? <laughs> She's showing me puppies. Tell her we don't need another we do. puppy. We do. Is that weird? Well, my channel I don't want to talk about but it. But is that like, then it'll just be you and Barry. Maybe we should have another baby. Do what's right for us. Started out here, way beyond the tracks. temperature it doesn't even tell me because they got the door open back there are you cold yes why is it so cold I'm up is it because it's winter time I know, but I'm gonna be Olaf. you're gonna be Olaf yes. oh he's cute just like you so that would work we are leaving the house today the girls are trying to locate my cell phone cuz for some reason I've lost it Wearing my new earrings Kayla got me. I love them. I've been missing my hoops. I used to wear hoops every single day of my life. And now I can wear them again, so that's nice. I'm not saying I'm wearing them every day. There are many days I just throw on my little studs and roll. Yes. Did you find my phone? Shut the door. Uh -huh. You did. Let me see. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Um, we are off today. We have a few errands that we have to run. I need to go to a few targets. Because as you know, we are the new year is upon us. And it creeped up on me so quick that I didn't order anything for New Year's. Like, you know, little blower things. Um, I didn't do party hats because I just couldn't find any. And I did plates, napkins, <clears throat> and all the stuff you need to have a magical 2021, right? We're bringing in the new year though with a special guest, a celebrity. So oh, make sure you come oh, back. Yeah. You come back for that because we have a special celebrity guest. We actually do, there. like 100%. I'm yes, be I'm there. excited. I know, we're all going to be there. Hey, Bradley, thank you for getting my and phone. It's just it's going to be happening at our house. I'm excited. New Year's. I'm so excited. So, I know Kayla is anyway. And we will be practicing social distancing. Oh, yeah, for sure. Obviously. Yeah. But we're excited. For we are. Um, first stop going to be, we're going to go by my mom and dad's. I'm going to give my mom her birthday present. Because yes. today is my mom's birthday. Happy birthday. Yes, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take off from there. And we need to go to our 500 targets. Oh, yeah. And oh. then we can come home. Oh, we need to also... You dreading the drives? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm going to... Not today. I need to go to American Eagle. We need to do that. And also, I need to go to Lululemon. Well, I'd rather you wait for me and I'll just go tomorrow with you. Because Bradley's got to take her stuff back. Yeah, and I'm not going to drive to Lululemon. <laughs> yeah, and tomorrow I have the cable guy coming, so I'd rather you be home with me when that's going oh, down. First okay. thing in the morning. Maybe we can head it up tomorrow afternoon then. Okay. Or something. All, All right, right, so we're going to go run these errands, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you later, and I'll show you guys what we bought for our New Year's Eve stuff. So we're not where I was expecting to be, but we just had a little bit of a scare, to be honest, and I'm going to tell you guys kind of what happened. Um, we met up with my parents to give them my mom's present and um while we were standing there i had like this overwhelming sense of like nausea come over me just really random right before that happened she says mama i feel like i'm gonna be sick i was like you're gonna throw up i was like well, hold on let me pull over because we hadn't even got there at this point and i thought maybe car sickness but she wasn't looking at her phone so i wasn't sure what it was and I was like, do you feel okay? You think you're gonna be all right? Do you need me to get you something? And she's like, no, let me just sit here. So we were talking to my parents and all of a sudden I had it come over me like nausea. And I was like, what in the world, Bradley? Are you rubbing it off on me? Like, I don't know what it was. Well, then we're going down the road after that and my stomach started cramping. And I was like, okay, what's going on? And we get going down the road, and honestly, I just felt kind of weird. I don't even know how to explain it. I don't know. How are you feeling? Can you kind of tell me what you were feeling? My stomach was hurting. 
and like my chest felt heavy. Can't stay awake when my eyes are like. Okay, so we're going down the road and it really scared me. I've only had this happen a couple of times in my life. I kind of got a little like a dizzy spell and I kind of felt a little off while I was driving. And I was like, you know, what's going on? And I don't know exactly how to explain how I'm feeling. It's just an odd sensation. So anyway, we're going down the road and I don't know if just anxiety took over, but I started like almost having like passing out. I felt like I was gonna pass out. I didn't. But this is how you know how bad I was feeling. Um, I told Kayla, I was like, I can't go to Target. We're gonna have to, bless you baby. I was like, I can't go to Target. We're gonna have to go um, go home. Riley doesn't feel good. I'm not feeling myself. Let's just go home and let me just see what's up. So, ended up heading towards the house and when we got not too far away from the house, felt myself like almost pass out. And it was the scariest thing because I'm driving. So I pulled over, stopped in the middle of the road and like, a turning lane I looked at Kayla I said you got to drive and she's like your new van I'm like yeah and you guys know I feel bad if I'm like letting her drive you know <laughs> not that that's bad but I'm funny about my car and I was like you got to drive us home so I'm like shaking and my hands feel numb but a lot of that could be anxiety working yourself up so I was like let's get home and see how we feel I mean I know I still don't feel the best. I haven't felt good since before that rash started. Um, I just been saying I'm just tired, I'm, I'm overworked, I'm just needing a break, I need to just take a chill day. Um, but you know, I, I've, I've had a few days where I've been kind of chill and I haven't done a whole lot. And I still don't feel like 100%, I just don't. So I don't know what it is. Um, and you know, she's not feeling good. She hadn't been feeling good the last few days. So I don't know, are we coming down with something? I don't know, but this might be what we do the rest of the day. I told Kayla, I was like, you know, later on, let's make sure everybody's good. Cause Kayla was like, should I drive you to the hospital if you're having dizzy spells? And I'm like, I don't know if I need to go to the hospital. Thank you for driving us home. <laughs> I'm very appreciative. I was like, look, I know I've never drove your van before. I mean, I've driven a van before, but I haven't drove this one. And, you know, throwing someone into a new car that's a lot bigger than oh, theirs. it's way wider. Is, you know, a little whatever. But I was like, look, if you think that you can't, like, you physically are having trouble staying, like, I felt like driving. I was out. When I say pass out, it was one of those, like, Then I was I've, like, I don't know how to You need to pull that. over somewhere. Like, we just pulled over and she was like, she got out. And I was like, yeah, she doesn't feel good. Because, like, she... Isn't one just to let anyone drive her car? You no. guys know that. So I was just like, look, if you don't think you can get us home safely, you need to pull over. And I got us home safely, so. You did. Thank you, Kayla, so much. I appreciate it. But she was like, should we go straight to the hospital? And I'm like, I don't know if that's what we need to do. I really don't. I just want to go home and see how I feel. And the target orders can wait. But I don't know. I'll give you guys an update once, once we decide if we need to call the doctor or what's going on or should I be concerned, be worried? I just don't know. Okay, so I am getting ready to leave the house and I have way too many receipts in my pocketbook. That's embarrassing. But I'm getting ready to leave the house and run to the post office because I need to go check that. But I have to get my keys first. I'm gonna take you guys along with me because Honestly, there's not really much else going on, so I'm gonna take you guys with me to go check the PO box. So let's go. Oh my gosh, my car doors were not locked. What the heck? Just realized my car doors were not locked. Not sure why they were unlocked. That's the weird question. Oh, I went to the grocery store last night and I had my hands full. I think I forgot to lock them. Thankfully, everything's still in here. I mean, everything, so we're good. But, oh my gosh, it's literally frozen outside. Like, holy hell. I don't even know what the temperature is outside. Let's crank the car, hopefully the camera doesn't fall off. Okay. Woo. Okay, so it is currently 48 degrees outside and I'm turning my heat all the way up because I'm literally frozen. So the first thing I do when I get in the car is 
plug my phone in and listen to music. <laughs> Um, I usually have like two playlists that I, my phone's stuck, I have like two go-to playlists that I always listen to. I have one that's like mood, which is more like love songs type stuff and just like really good, powerful songs if you guys know what I mean. And then I have one that's called um, work, which is my playlist that I listen to when I'm wanting like some upbeat, get this day going type music um it's called work because that's just what i used to listen to whenever i would go to the pool or to my other job and now i'll be listening to it when i go to my other job my new job so or like going to school or anything of that sort but yes yeah, so i have two playlists and those are the main two that i listen to i think today i'm gonna listen to mood because i just really love the songs that are on here um they're just like really good songs so I'm going to listen to this playlist and we're going to head off to the post office and hopefully we get some packages. So let's go. Update. We made it to the post office. <laughs> so now it is time to go inside and check the PO box. The post office is kind of busy, not going to lie. I mean, it's only two o'clock in the afternoon and I mean, it's not terribly as busy as it was like when Christmas was happening because when that was happening, oh my gosh, you couldn't even get a park at the post office. There's actually a few parks available. So we're gonna go inside, see if we have anything. I got the key. So let's go check it. Okay, update. Ow, about ripped my earring out. <laughs> update, my hair looks like a hot mess. And we got two cards, woo! So, We'll go home and I'll sh open those with the family. Obviously, I'm not gonna open them by myself. That would be rude. So, we got two cards, which is super exciting. I, for one, absolutely love receiving cards from you guys. I think it's so fun and just such a, I don't know, just such a cool thing. Like, I think cards are like so much fun and like letters and I don't know, I just think it's a really cool thing. So, I really enjoy getting letters from you guys or Christmas cards. I know they're Christmas cards right now, but I mean, if you guys still want to send us stuff, like, throughout the year, I'm totally game for it. I just think it's so much fun, like, I don't know, I just think it's cool. But, I've always been one that, like, loves keeping cards and stuff, too, so, I guess that's why I, like, really find this really fun. But, we are now gonna head home. Traffic, I just said, was not bad at the post office, but literally just had, like, two cars come crowd right beside of me. And I don't even see really many empty parking spots now. That was fast. So we're gonna go home. I have a few things I need to do at home. I was in the middle of watching some Vlogmas videos at home because can you believe I did Vlogmas this entire month and didn't watch one Vlogmas video? Except my own. Like for editing purposes, I didn't just watch my videos, but I edited them and that was the only bit of Vlogmas that I really watched. So I would love to catch up on a bunch of YouTubers um, and see how their Vlogmas went because I didn't get to watch them this year and it's kind of sad, but I need to go home. I need to film a video. I also said I was going to go live on TikTok. I posted like, go live on TikTok and I never did because I was eating lunch and then I got busy watching a Vlogmas video and then I ran to the post office. So my goal is to film my what I got for Christmas video because that needs to hurry up and be filmed and get up that. And then I also need to edit that video. I need to also um, oh, go live on TikTok. I think those are really the main three things that I need to get done. I also need to finish cleaning off my computer. I'm in the process of doing that before school starts because... My computer, guys, is super duper full, so I'm trying to clean it off as much as I can, get as much storage, because there's a bunch of applications that I have to download on my computer for school purposes. And school starts in two weeks, which I'm so excited! I cannot wait. I think it's like two or three weeks. I think it's two. I'm not really sure. I need to look on the calendar, but I'm just so excited. 2021, I'm determined for it to be really awesome. That's another video I want to film, so I really have two videos I really need to go to knock out, because um, one of them needs to go up either tomorrow or New Year's Day. I haven't figured that out yet, but I want to do a um, either like so things I've learned in 2020 or um, kind of like my New Year's resolutions. I did this last year, and it's something I want to do again this year. So. Enough rambling because my mom's going to hate me for having to edit all this footage because 
I can talk. It's so bad. If I would keep all the footage that I filmed for my channel, my videos would be like 30 minutes long every vlog, but I try to cut them down because I know no one wants to hear me ramble for 30 minutes and I'm just motor mouth right now. So I'm going to go. Love you guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys when I get home. I don't know what I'm saying, like ending it. Bye. All right, Kayla just got back from the post office. Let's see what we got. Merry Christmas. Very cute. Hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. We love y'all's videos. We watch y'all all the time. Also, you can say our name on the vlog. I hope we get a Christmas card also. Merry Christmas. Tracy, Kayla, Briley, and Aiden from Beverly and Hope. Best wishes for a wonderful holiday season and a new year filled with happiness. Aw, thank you so much, guys. All right, next one. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like that one too. Cute. Love watching all your vlogs. You can show him vlog. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It says, Declan Kids. Oh! Can you not read it? Joanne. And then. Oh, it's okay. Noreen? Noreen, no, maybe? Oh, I don't know. I hate pronouncing names wrong. Bye. And my phone's ringing. Thank you so much. My phone's ringing. Hang on. And one more. This one says, Tracy and family, Merry Christmas to you all, including Charlotte and Charlie. May your Christmas be jolly and your new year be groovy. Merry Christmas from Amy and David Bullock. Thank you, guys. So I'm feeling really productive at the moment. I got our vlog for tomorrow already edited, and I'm getting ready to send it to YouTube so it has all night and half a day tomorrow if it needs it. Um, I'm feeling a little better now that we've came home and I've kind of just laid down and chilled out for a little bit. Um, still not a hundred. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I'm not sure what it is. If I just picked up a little cold or a virus or maybe I'm just still tired. Like I have thyroid condition for those that do not know. And sometimes my thyroid will put me down and out for a while. It just does. Look, if I see, overdo it. This is like a bit what? show. <gasps> and look, that's what it's probably going to look like. See? Oh look, yeah. Look, see, it has the light and the firework shooting off. I bet They're it will. They're doing the, um, firework show for, um... 2021 in um, Liberty County. And Liberty County. Yes, we're going to play tonight. Not yeah. tomorrow night. Are you no, sure it's tonight? Tomorrow it, night. It said 8 p.m. I didn't say tomorrow or okay. anything like we're that. We're going to check it out tonight, see if we can catch it. Briley's over there hanging out. How are you feeling, babe? Um, better or not better? I'm fine at the moment. Good at the moment. Okay. I don't know if we just needed to rest. And what are you showing me? <laughs> She's showing me puppies. Tell her we don't need another we do. puppy. We do. I want a puppy. We don't need another yes, one. We do. I want it brown and curly. <laughs> Look at the puppy. Oh, and we got a hamper. Oh my God. Look at the puppy. We have all we can handle, you guys. Bradley. They are precious. They are precious. But no. Kayla's downstairs on the phone with my mom and my dad. They called her to talk for a little bit so I can hear her down there still on the phone. Are you still trying to show me puppies? Okay, I get it. They're cute. They're cute. But they grow up. Mama. And they make messes. Mama. And they cost a lot. Mama. And they have to Mama. go to the vet. And you gotta buy food for them all the time. And toys. Look and keep them entertained. Baby like Charlotte. But Charlotte's so not big. <sighs> they want another small dog. Not that Charlie's huge. He's small, okay? Anyway. Okay. Enough like puppies. Anyway, we're gonna play a little bit of Liberty County. And when Kayla gets off the phone, I'm going to kind of ask her what they were chit-chatting about. I'm waiting on my grocery order, honestly, to be completed. The only pickup they had was 7 o'clock tonight, which kind of sad because I was cooking spaghetti tonight. And now we can't get the things we need to make spaghetti tonight. I was going to do spaghetti and garlic bread and salad. And unless somehow they get it prepared very, very shortly... Everybody's going to be hungry and have already ate probably at that point by the time we get food then try to bring it home and cook it and all that stuff So we're going to just chill out here for a little bit longer and um, yeah, I'm planning to get out of the bed Eventually that is my plan. So hopefully this whole vlog is not me just sitting in this one spot so The girls are trying to clean the kitchen. I don't even know what happened. I literally went upstairs and that was it and I come down it's like hot mess 
Riley decided to cook popcorn like the old school way. How did that go anyway, cooking it that way? Did it like burn? How'd you stir it or you just shook it? You just let it sit. And did it just all pop? You put oil in the bottom. Yeah. And you don't do anything? No. Cause my mom used to shake the mess out the pot. That's why I told you you can't do it on that type of stove, but you can get one of those burners out I got. I just let it pop and then before I took it off, like officially, I picked it up and I shook it just to make sure I got all the kernels. And I sat it on the burner for a second and let a few more pop and then I took it off. And, and that was it? Well, that's pretty cool. Because I remember my mom used to make popcorn for us like every Friday night, Saturday night. We were watching movies. And seriously, I remember her shaking the mess out of that pot. She would put a lot of popcorn in it though. I mean, it made a lot of popcorn though for you, I thought. Mm -hmm. I didn't even think we had that much popcorn left. The groceries, even been the groceries have not even been started. It, I just got a notice that said, um, if you need to add anything, go ahead and add it, but they haven't even started yet. So who knows when that'll be, because I told the vlog, I was like, you know, I was having spaghetti tonight. Well, you're out of it. You're out of spaghetti. It won't happen now until after the new year because we're having appetizers tomorrow night mm -hmm. to bring in the new year. And then on New Year's Day, what? I, girl, your guess is as good as mine because I have no idea. I mean, I know what would be good. <laughs> what would be I good? I know what she's going to say. I know what she's going to say. One, two, three. Taco Bell. Heck yeah. Yeah, we got it right. Because we were supposed to get it last night, and we decided to do like a fend for yourself type night. You yeah. Know, the grocery store to get everything, so it wasn't really. Well, we were supposed to be cooking tonight, but with no food here, I guess we don't have much choice. There is stuff here we could eat. It's just nobody wants what we have here. And like I said, tomorrow night's appetizers, and then on New Year's Day we actually cook black eyed peas. Who else has black eyed peas for New Year's Day? They're not bad. Why do you make that face? I just don't like beans. Like, I just don't like They're not. Lot. They're peas. Okay, I don't like peas. <laughs> I like green peas. I don't like, uh, there's just certain foods, like, I just don't like. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I mean, would you consider me a picky eater? I would consider you a basic eater. Not I, picky? I, I guess you could say picky. No, because here's the thing. You'll try it. Rarely. It Sometimes. takes a lot to get me to try something. She'll it eat does. them. She'll eat the black eyed peas. I'll eat them. They're not eat bad. Them. It's just not my like and choice. Kayla is not a picky eater. Do you consider me? I consider, I kind of consider all my kids picky eaters. Yeah, like you, said, you all have your favorite items. You said like Kayla is more like, what did you say she was? Basic. Basic. So am I like considered? You're basic. Basic or picky? You're I would say, picky. I would say basic because you'll eat fruits and vegetables where this one will not, neither will Aiden. See, I like y'all gag. You and Aiden will like be sick trying to eat a green bean. Like, I mean, well maybe not you, so. but. And see, Briley loves salads and green beans and vegetables and all that. Yeah, so. see, like I, like, see like I can eat off of like popcorn. Cucumber. Popcorn, french fries, cucumber salads. Pasta. Cucumber salad. Well, that could be, yeah. Mm. Same thing. Um, pasta with Parmesan. Yep. And butter. Mm -hmm. She said. Mm -hmm. Rice. My meals are very... Simple. Simple and mm -hmm. very cheap. They can be, My except salads. They can be expensive. Salads can be expensive, yeah, but... Most I like of salad. Pretty easy. I like salad from a restaurant, though. A certain restaurant. She doesn't like us to make them here. And I don't know why. I just shredded lettuce like, like you want. Yeah, but something about their lettuce that they use at this restaurant. Just it's all lettuce. It all tastes like water. It's so iceberg. It's I don't but know. it's different. Like Harris Teeter's iceberg lettuce is sick. Sorry, here's Cedar. No, it's not. Oh, God. I can't wait for Publix to open theirs. Right now with COVID, they can't, but you have to I'm ready for them to open it up because I really want to try it. I love here Cedar salad bar, so I, I don't agree. I get into it because, like, it's just not that good to me. Like, the food is just, like, I don't know. Like, it's a good thing. Their okay. taste different. Each than... is its own. Or each has its own. What is that saying? Each has its own. Yeah, you guys know what the saying okay, is. Finish doing the rest of it. You yeah, go. that's your stuff. Hey, point. will you rinse that one for me though? That was Aiden's. That bowl, Kayla. What? That bowl. 
Yeah, Bradley made a little mess making some popcorn, but pot. it's just one pot and then a bowl and a measuring. Oh, those are clean, aren't they? Okay, never mind. Oh, and Kayla, don't forget your um pan back the there. Thing I used was a pot and then a bowl for my lunch. <laughs> Kayla's over here wanting to have. What are they, Levain? Okay, so if you guys are from New York, and I told her, don't eat them, don't eat them. So because I I'll tell you why. I've always why. wanted to go to this bakery in New York. I've always said if I go to New York, this is the number one place I'm going. Well, I was in Harris Teeter one night. Well, this was not before COVID. <laughs> not too long ago, I was in Harris Teeter, and I walked by the refrigerator and I saw Levain Bakery, and I said, shut up. So. See, like Levain Bakery, New York. I was like, oh my god, I want to get them. Well, I got them home, and it says, made in a facility that processes peanuts, tree nuts, wheat, <laughs> eggs, soy. So basically, three out of the... All the things you don't know. All the things I'm allergic to. I... Charlotte just sneezed. I <laughs> tried it. I tried one of those cookies. I had one. And you said they're not good. No, but I well, don't Well, these like, are... Now, we haven't been to the bakery. I'm sure they, getting them in person, they're the way better. Is, like, inside, like, the whole thing is filled with chocolate, but the chocolate is semi-sweet, and you know I hate semi-sweet well, chocolate. I love semi-sweet chocolate. It's so oh, better. it's dark chocolate chips. That's yeah. why. It's dark chocolate and semi-sweet. That's why she likes milk chocolate. And dark chocolate is so bad. It is so disgusting. That so, is why I hated it so bad. I hate dark chocolate. I want to fix Here's one. And I told her not to because I'm not trying to go to the ER tonight if we don't have to. What are you looking for? I'm fixing Aiden Roman. Are we? Our cabinet doing? looks great. I call it a cabinet. It looks so bare. It's a southern thing, guys. Pantry. Oh, pantry. Pantry. It. Our it's cabinet. But it does. It's looking kind of thin and kind of messy, man. I need to get in there. This, like, this is the first time we've ever had a pantry at the. I know. I feel so, like, every, so, like, we used to, so like we used to call it. Every that house, is true. So every house we call it a cabinet because we never had like a pantry. These are called cabinets. Yes. And in every house we've ever lived in, it was like either a double cabinet that went straight down and had like doors like this, or it was literally like at the last cabinets house, like at the because last our kitchen house. didn't have a pantry. Yeah, like at the last house, it was like this, and then it was like double cabinets. Mm -hmm. So we always called it cabinets. A cabinet. This is the first house we've ever been in that has actually that a has a door. So, so my future hard. house, I want to have a, a butler pantry. Mm -hmm. I don't want a butler. Like the Texas size one. I want like one of those big like walk-in pantries that is just like shelves and shelves and shelves. And I've got like grocery store. So then anytime I want anything, it's right there. That would be I awesome. Big, I want a big kitchen. I thought we were going to cook too. in it, but I just want a big kitchen. <laughs> I I want a you cook popcorn. Kitchen. I'll cook popcorn and be like, hey y'all, let's be a child. Let's cook some popcorn. It is going to be weird one day like... We'll be like all moving out, and like you guys will be seeing us, and we'll have our own family channels. Is that gonna be weird? Well, my channel. I don't want to talk about but it. But is that like then it would just be you and Barry? Maybe we should have another baby. No. Wow. What if we did? No. I don't want it y'all to be the last one. And it's actually the Mom. time to have another baby because Aiden's eight years. I know. Now, all of us are like eight years apart. Seven and eight years <laughs> apart. Every one of them. You vote no. No. You also voted no for the hamster. Now you love the hamster. Well, trust me, I just don't. You would love a baby brother no, Mama. or a baby sister. No, I already have one. We say sister, sister. I already have one. I wonder if you just pop these in the microwave. Anyway, that's for another day, another time. I did talk to my husband though about it. I'm like, no. Am I too old? Yes, you're very old, Mommy. You don't need to have another baby. <laughs> Baby at like 47. No, wait a minute. No, no. She's 47. She had her last baby like older than me. If you wait until I'm married, we can you, pull father of the bride. I'm not being pregnant with and you. And we have this baby no. at the no. same time. I don't want to do that. Real life father of the bride part two. No. Listen, people. Our life is already busy enough. Oh, so what's so what's the big deal about being busy? If you have, we have a child, a then I have to share. Yeah, we do have a van. Then uh, that means I have to share the back seat with someone. Oh my god, really? And I can't, princess. I can't do that. Oh my gosh. Well, when no, Kayla moves no. out, it'll be bitch like old times. If I move out, so you'll be like the oldest living here. I am moving out. She's gonna be here until she's fifty, mom. No, I'm not. No, but seriously, I did talk to Barry, and I was like, you know. What do you think? And he he's said, like, he said the same thing I did. He said, oh my God, no, we're too old. <laughs> I'm like, I don't 
think I'm old, you guys. I really don't. But I also don't know if I want to start over. But part of me does because I know you guys are getting older and it's really sad. Yeah, it's like we're really sad. But I can't keep having babies I'll either be, just to comfort my sadness. I'll be an adult. And there are people that have 20. <laughs> I will be an adult in four years, which means that I can move out. You're moving out at 18? No, you're not. Yeah, mom. I'll see how, I'll how out it goes. <laughs> It won't work, but you're moving out in two years. My car will be paid off for it. You and then need I to can, finish college. And then if, I can if you take, move out, move to a dorm. No, I'm moving. I want to move to a student apartment for yeah, the last two years. Yeah, I was going to say, please don't That's what I want to try do. to get some hefty bills and you're still in college. But then, of stress. the only thing that stresses me out is if I do a student apartment for two years, after those two years, like, I've got to, where am I going to live that's going to be $500 a month? Like, student oh, it's apartment. not going to exactly. be. Exactly. So You'll have to get a real girl job. Big well, girl I plan job. on getting a big girl job. I'm just and saying. And then the debt starts rolling in. Yep. Welcome to adulthood. But I am really thinking about it in like two years. Well, I'm away for the best. Oh my gosh. I like can't <laughs> imagine it. And it's not that I'm like, I gotta let them go. I know I do. But it's like so sad. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna hold it in. It's really sad to think about your babies leaving the nest, and I know they have to, but we have such a good bond. If we had like this bad relationship, I'd be like, get out. Hurry up, move out. But we don't. Well, I'll still be around. Yeah, but you'll be way too busy for us. Everybody says that. Oh, I'll come. I'll come visit you, Mom. Oh, we'll hang out every night. Or I'll come over every weekend. Mm -mm. It won't happen. And I know it won't because I didn't do it with my family. Nobody does. Who knows? You just don't. Who knows? I might book an acting job and then I have to like go live in Canada and film or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> Mama would be going See, we can you. we can take the baby with us. No, what? No, okay. I vote for baby. No, because you're Briley, voting for baby because you're gonna be moving out. You won't have to deal with it. Briley will be the oldest. Deal with it is your sibling. Briley's gonna Briley cry be... every night. It's just like oh, having. Briley will be the old. No, Briley will well, be the oldest. She can babysit then because I'll be busy with school. What? I'm gonna be put on babysitting duty. I babysat when um I was younger. And diaper duty. Oh, I get rose. You can no. ask Mama. I helped with Aiden diapers. She her loved it, man. You loved I it. I always oh, had that motherly. It. That's why I've always been into nannying and babysitting. That's why everyone's wanted me to always babysit their kids because I've just always have had that motherly touch. True. Riley, get on it. Before the next baby comes. Then you can have another child. We're not having another baby, no. It's technically not your choice, but I vote yes. But anyway. Dad, Dad already said that too. So I mean, it's his choice too. So. <laughs> Bye, guys.